What's going on everyone? Today's the 20th of November 2023. Real quick, we'll talk about Tesla. I don't know if you guys really heard it or not, but take a look at the article from The Guardian. Elon Musk calls strikes insane as Swedish workers take on Tesla. There's a strike going on in Switzerland. Strike at car maker prompts sympathy action from dockers, painters, and postal workers in fight over Swedish labor model. Yeah. The strikers at Tesla, they actually got people in their corner backing them, supporting them to take on Tesla in Sweden right now. How's that going to impact Tesla's price? That's what I'm worried about. I want to see what's going to happen to the price of Tesla stock. Will the market go down? Will it go up? The longer that this strike occurs in Sweden, will it reverberate across other places of Tesla's businesses to hinder the production of its vehicles Let's try to figure it out because the market would tell us that the price chart for Tesla would tell us that way before that goes on because somebody will always have an inside tip and they will go ahead and take advantage of that information which will then be related to the market and we can see it off the price chart okay so let's go ahead and look at this real quick because I got an idea back here on October the 19th, maybe the 20th, looking for Tesla to go lower. It did. It just didn't go all the way down to 185. The market in Tesla instead found buyers here around like 194. Cool. No problem. Now, I wanted to see if the market is going to get rejected on this downtrend line because we're still trending. The overall trend in the market in Tesla clearly is lower. Okay. So, yeah, we're, we're weak into the market from a broader perspective but on a shorter time frame the market test is going up so it all depends on your timing your preference as to whether or not the market in Tesla is bullish or bearish looking at this here on the two-day chart I think you guys get a better idea of where the sellers are because on these two-day price bars the market in Tesla has been unable to trade above this zone cool that's because sellers are there here it is on the three-day chart these two three-day price bars is already letting you know that sellers are hitting the market in Tesla. And I say that because on this three-day price bar, that's a very healthy, strong three-day price bar. We're just supposed to see the market go massively higher off of that. And so far, we're not there yet. So the market buyers are here trying to accumulate the price, the stock in Tesla so that they can do that move the market and break it outside of that downtrend line. That's what they're trying to do. Will they be successful? That is yet to be determined. Here it is on the wiki chart. I mean, a five day chart that looks bullish too. So the three and the five day charts definitely look bullish into the market of Tesla. The only issue is these sellers in this zone right there. Here it is on the wiki time frame. Just on the two weeks. And again on the three the five and then let's look at the monthly real quick two days and nine hours this indicator for the month of october supposed to tell us in the next month in this case it's november mark's supposed to go down but it didn't it's going back up so again i, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is in this area for those buyers to take these sellers out in order for the market to really break out. Here it is on 330 minute chart. You guys can see over the last couple 330 minute bars, even though we do see selling hitting the market up here at this price, these prices, look at what the market is not doing. The market is not trending down. It is staying elevated. When you see that, that tells you that the market is absorbing whoever is trying to sell they're Tesla in the market. Once we see the market break between this support area to 230, then yeah, you know that the buyers are no longer there and the market's going to continue to go lower. So the 330 minute chart looks pretty good too. Here it is on the seven hour chart. Look at this weakness. Did the market go down off the weakness? No. Instead, it is elevated, it is supporting, it is not falling. Somebody is buying the market in Tesla. So that gives me the idea that the market in Tesla is going to go up, at least from what we have seen off the charts. 
So let me get rid of this price prediction here. And the idea is going to be for price in Tesla to go up. Okay. Now, how high would price go? We already know those sellers. That has to be our first target. Like 243, 3% move higher. Second target will be at the high of that sell zone, which is around 4.8%. $247.22 and then the third target will be up here towards the downtrend line that would be the biggest hurdle for the market participants the buyers to really break that market above 250 that's around 6% move there okay and that's about it So let me get your thoughts. I'm done. What do you think price is heading in Tesla over the next week? Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.